the latest iteration of the Mario Kart series has arrived, and it's great, except for battle mode. It's the best one since 64 and Double Dash. It has 32 tracks and 16 new ones, and 16 retro tracks. I'm going to be counting down the top 8 new Mario Kart 8 tracks. Without further ado, let's do this. Coming in at number 8 is Mario Kart Stadium. Mario Kart Stadium is the first track in the Mushroom Cup and the first one I played, and probably the first one for others too. It has the simplicity of Luigi Circuit from Mario Kart Double Dash and the charm of Waluigi Pinball from the DS version. It's a great track and has a wonderful anti-gravity mode. There's nothing else really to say about it. That's why it's number 8. Coming in at number 7 is Cloudtop Cruise. This map takes place in the sky and you're driving on clouds. How awesome is that? Very. You start off on a big beanstalk kind of thing. I don't know what it is. Do you know what it is? Because I don't know what it is. Do you know what it is? I don't know what it is. I don't know. Do you know? And then you go on a Bowser airship for a short period of time. And then you're in a metal area with speed boots. And come on! There's lightning? What? Is Zeus there? I thought I told him to go in his room. Coming in at number 6 is Mount Wario. In this track, you start off on some metal platform and whoop! You're in the air, and plop, you're on the ground. After that, you're on a very sharp turn with ice on the floor, and if you're good enough, you could get the boosty boosty pads. And then you go in a cave and fly on the ramp and land on these rocks with speed pads, which I can never make! Then you go on some weird Toad's Factory ripoff with some anti-gravity, more snow, and then a huge steep hill covered in snow and poles. If you're boss enough, you could get the rings in midair. There's a lot of speed pads and then rings you, you could hit for speed boost in midair, and then bam, you beat the track. This is one of the few tracks, may I add, where it's not laps, it's three segments, and then the finish line. Coming in at number five is Electrodome. Elect. Elec Electrodome. Elec Electrodome is a map themed with electric things, including boom boxes, lights, TVs, and robot piranha plants. No, but this map probably has the most color and best music and good level design. I mean, it's got robot piranha plants. Best game ever. 10 out of 10. Oscar, Scooby-Doo. You start off by a jump that leads to a big wide turn with rainbow beads or something, and then you get to some anti-gravity and you finally make it to the robot piranha plant. Coming in at number 4 is Dolphin Shoals. Being one of the only maps that has you underwater 75% of the time, funny, Water Park has you underwater only two times for a short period of time. It's funny because Water Park has water in the name, but Dolphin Schultz has dolphin in the name, which is like indirectly hinting to water. But anyway, Dolphin Schultz starts you underwater, then you hit some ramps and some rings, and you take a big wide turn to some weird pipes blowing bubbles until you hit that eel from Mario 64. Awesome background, awesome level design, and an amazing level for an idea. Coming in at number 3 is Toad Harbor. In Toad Harbor, you guessed it, you're at a beach! Oh, wait, I messed up the script. The Harbor. You start off next to the Harbor, and then you drive near a town and some trolleys. The best part of the map is that near the end, there's an anti-gravity segment where the ramps and speed boosts are on the walls. So you have to jump and ramp in anti-gravity. That's awesome! Then after that, it's a huge steep hill with more ramps and speed pads. Then a shortcut, then then a shortcut, then the finish line. Not much else to say, but great map to show off anti-grav and it looks beautiful. Coming in at number 2 is Water Park. Water Park is a water park, no dirt, but it's very weird for a water park. I mean, I don't know much about water parks, but uh, this shouldn't be here. This map has a perfect combo of flying, anti-gravity, the pegs and anti-gravity to get you speed boosts, and it's just great all around. In other words, it good map. Coming in at number one, it's your choice! No, I'm just kidding, I hate people who cop out and put your choice. Number one is... Sunshine Airport. This map is my absolute favorite since Wario's Coliseum on Double Dash. Not only is it representing the plane trip to Delfino Island for Mario Sunshine for the GameCube, doing Let's Play that, link in the description, but it's got flying segments, anti-gravity segments, you fly just barely below a plane for God's sakes, then you drive in a parked plane. This is also one of the first maps revealed when Mario Kart 8 was in development. It had so much detail to predict other maps just by the plane routes. If you enjoyed this video, why not leave a like and subscribe? I don't care, but I would like it if you did. I mean, finders keepers. And remember, this is my opinion. So if you don't agree, put yours down below in the comments. And if you have an and if you have an idea for the next top five or top ten, tell me in the comments also. Bye.